And then you get to the Super Bowl. Now, Coach, I don't know what you were thinking. That you expected Adam Vinatieri to put this ball in the air to Devin Hester. What were, you, what were you thinking? That was all on me, Shannon. <laughs> For two weeks, we talked about not letting Devin Hester touch the ball. We're going to kick it in the corners. We're going to squib it. We're going to punt it out of bounds. This man is the best threat they have. We can't let him touch the ball. Our chapel speaker before the game gives the chapel message on David and Goliath. And he says, you know how David beat Goliath because he wasn't afraid of him. He was one of the few that went right at him. I started thinking, and we can't be afraid of Devin Hester. We gotta be like David. We gotta go right at him. We're gonna kick the ball right to him. When we pound him, Goliath's gonna go down. They're gonna know we mean business. So I changed up right then. I said, I hope we lose the toss. We're gonna kick off to them. You guys pound Devin Hester. That'll set the tone. 12 seconds later, he's in the other end zone. Everybody's looking at me like, what is wrong with our coach? Go, you let the chapel chaplain gas you up to kick that ball to Devin Hester after two weeks of saying he is not yeah. touching the football. He's not going to impact this ball game. And after I told him the story, he said, oh, you got the wrong message from it. The message <laughs> was you got to know where the weak spot is. He hit right between the eyes. You got to go for the weak spot. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, I wish you'd explain the message a little better to me. Well, Co Coach, as, as time is winding down on the clock and you realize, man, we're going to do this. I'm going to, we're going to win the Super Bowl. And I'm going to be, this, this is going to be one of the more memorable Super Bowls in NFL history. Just like when Doug won. Now you've won. What's going through your mind as time is running down? The confetti starts to rain, uh, come down. It's been raining basically the whole the whole day. What's going through your mind at that moment? I'm thinking about my dad and walking and not taking the bus and teaching at a segregated school. I'm thinking about those 10 African-American assistant coaches who never had a chance to become the head coach. I'm thinking about my mom and dad just telling me, don't let anybody else define you. Don't give up. And... I felt like I was representing all of them. And then I th thought about Jim Irsay. He, he gave me a chance. He wanted me to coach his team. And I was just so grateful at that moment. And I, I just, all the emotion came out. And it, it was just, it was a great moment. And, and I, I said, man, these guys did it. They did it. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button to become an official member of Club Shay Shay where we always do something before two something.